Now I'm inside this Kindred Spirit 6 Extreme Off-Grid Caravan by Kakadu Caravans. Now it's a cold, wet, grey Melbourne day. Fantastic weather to be looking at a caravan. The good news is that this caravan is fitted with three 200 amp hour lithium batteries, three 210 watt solar panels, a 3000 watt projector inverter and reverse cycle air conditioning. Now, what does all this mean? Well, it means that even though I'm not plugged into mains power, I'm literally off grid at the moment, but I can still get that air con fired up and get some heat into this freezing cold caravan. Now, this is a 22 foot full off-road caravan. And this layout is all about family living. You've got a couple of bunks in the back, as well as a full bathroom on the near side. There's three 95 litre fresh water tanks, as well as a 95 litre grey water tank. Now you couple that with that impressive 12 volt system, and this really is a fully self-contained caravan. Now the guy who owns Kakadu Caravans is Michael Steindorf, and he's a huge advocate for his brand. He tells me he's used them all around the country for R&D purposes. And uh, you know, it really does show because this is a very workable layout, in my opinion, for families. Furthermore, I really love that angled kitchen. I feel like we're seeing fewer and fewer angled kitchens in caravans these days. So it's really nice to see one fitted here and they've done a really nice job. Now check out this angled kitchen. I really like the laminate finish here. And we're gonna have a four burner cooktop. We've got a griller, we've got a full stove, loads of bench space, especially when this section here is down. And here we have some filtered drinking water. Nice placement too of the 12 volt Sirocco fans, one here in the entryway and one on the offside in the bedroom. Now we're also going to have a battery management system somewhere. So let's have a look. There you go. That's working away in the background uh, since we've turned on the uh, inverter. And I can see they've also fitted the BM Pro Odyssey link. And what that does is send important information about the caravan, such as the state of charge of the batteries and the water tank levels to the digital display in the entryway. But you can also have that information sent to an app on your smartphone. You've got separate isolation switches for your air con, your fridge, your hot water service, whether you're talking about 240 volt or 12 volt. Yeah, it's a nice little setup. Love the fact they've used piano hinges as well. Now with that 3000 watt projector inverter going, we could even throw something in the microwave. Might heat up some lunch later. Now this is one part of the van that I think is a real highlight. Let me show you. Now look at all this space back here. You've got two bunks, each have a Sirocco fan. They've also got a reading light with a built-in USB charging point. But what I like about this setup is the way that, you know, it all just opens up thanks to the usage of a concertina screen rather than a fixed sliding door. Now, what that's going to allow you to do as a parent, you know, it's gonna give you more room to get the kids ready in the morning or, you know, it's time to get them to bed, get their pajamas on or just get them ready for the day. You're not gonna feel cramped or squashed. And I mean, it all looks quite nicely done too. And here's one of my favorite parts, the storage setup. Three separate spaces and this large drawer. To me, that's really effective. And what this is allowed for is the inclusion of a washing machine down here. Little front loader. And on top of that, you've got yet more storage space under the lower bunk. Two large drawers, one for each kid. Now there's a lot of LED light shining out of those bedside niches. And I was wondering why, so I had a look. Turns out they've fitted these little LED light bars, which I think is pretty neat. Each niche also has a 12 volt charging point as well as a dual 240 volt power point. So really all your power and charging needs are covered when you're lying in bed. Now, what a fantastic layout. I mean, you've got that large L-shaped dinette, Love that rear kid room and the way the bathroom just opens up onto it, not to mention all that storage space. And I mean, this angled kitchen, I think they've done a fantastic job, I really do. Now the tear of this caravan comes in at 2,680 kilograms. The ATM is 3,700 kilos. That all gives this caravan a massive payload capacity, 1,020 kilos, and that is huge in anyone's book. Now, of course, the bulk of four wheel drives out there can really only tow up to 3,500 kilos. So look, you can still tow this caravan with one of those vehicles. You just need to know what the overall laden weight of the caravan is and don't overload. But of course you do have that little extra payload capacity if you have a suitable four wheel drive. Now, because of that 3,700 kilo ATM, they've given this caravan the DO45 coupling rather than the popular DO35. The DO35 is only rated up to 3,500 kilos, while the DO45 is rated up to 4,500 kilos. So that makes complete sense. 
Now this caravan rides on independent coil suspension with dual shocks and it's rated to 3.7 tons. Kakadu Caravans has also given this van a really generous checker plate storage box on the A-frame. On the near side, you've got a large slide out tray to suit a barbecue or really whatever you want to put on there. While on the offside, you've got a smaller tray to suit, you know, a small generator. Now this is a family caravan, so Kakadu has sensibly given the van a bike rack on the back. You've also got an external shower. There's also a nice little external storage nook on the offside at the back. And let's not forget that sizable tunnel boot. Couple of speakers, awning lights, and a little entertainment locker too. So you can fit a TV and watch the footy or the cricket under the awning. Now this van is built with a Maranti timber frame, but it's also clad with smooth composite aluminium, as well as that protective black checker plate. So overall, there is a generous equipment list for this Kindred Spirit 6 Extreme Off Grid. Full cooking facilities, generous 12 volt system, loads of water storage, general storage space is well taken care of, and I can't see anything that's been overlooked. I could well and truly see myself hitching this caravan up, heading up north, to escape some of this awful Melbourne weather. I'm really grateful we've got that heater. So if you're in the market for a family van that has true off-grid living potential, this would be one to check out.